Greenwood Herkowitz Huffman preferences are a particular functional form of utility developed by Jeremy Greenwood, Zvi Herkowitz, and Gregory Huffman, in their 1988 paper Investment, Capacity Utilization, and the Real Business Cycle. It describes the macroeconomic impact of technological changes that affect the productivity of new capital goods. The paper also introduced the notions of investment-specific technological progress and capacity utilization into modern macroeconomics. GHH preferences have Gorman form. Often macroeconomic models assume that agents' utility is additively separable in consumption and labor. I.e., frequently the period utility function is something like U C L equals C one minus gamma one minus gamma minus psi L one plus theta one plus theta Display style U C L equals frac C carrot one gamma one gamma psi frac L carrot one plus theta one plus theta where C display style C is consumption and L display style L is labor e.g. hours worked. Note that this is separable in that the utility loss from working does not directly affect the utility gain or loss from consumption, i.e. the cross derivative of utility with respect to consumption and labor is zero. GHH preferences might instead have a form like U C L equals one one minus gamma C minus psi L one plus theta one plus theta one minus gamma display style U C L equals frac one one gamma left C psi frac L carrot one plus theta one plus theta right carrot one gamma where now consumption and labor are not additively separable in the same way. For an agent with this utility function, the amount she, he works will actually affect the amount of utility she, he receives from consumption, i.e. the cross derivative of utility with respect to consumption and labor is unequal to zero. More generally, the preferences are of the form U C L equals U C minus G L U greater than zero U zero G greater than zero G greater than zero. Display style U C L equals U left C G L right U greater than zero U zero G greater than zero. The first order condition of U C L display style U C L with respect L display style L is given by U C minus G L D C D L minus G L equals zero. Display style U left C G L right left frac D C D L G L right equals zero, which implies D C D L equals G L display style frac DC DL equals G L as D C D L display style DC per deciliter is typically just a wage W display style W this means the labor choice L Display style L is a function of only the wage and has a closed form with L equals G minus one W display style L equals G carrot minus one W. As a result, the preferences are exceptionally convenient to work with. Moreover, as the marginal rate of substitution is independent of consumption and only depends on the real wage, there is no wealth effect on the labor supply. Using preference without a wealth effect on the labor supply might help to explain the aggregate economic behavior following news shocks and government spending shocks. Their use is also very common in open macro studies. 
Topic: <laughs> Generalization, Jaimovic Rebello preferences. GHH preferences are not consistent with a balanced growth path. Jaimovic and Rebello proposed a preference specification that allows scaling the short run wealth effect on the labor supply. The two polar cases are the standard King Plosser Rebello preferences and the GHH preferences. <laughs> 